So here we are. We are going to do yoga for office workers today. And I'm super excited. We have a lot of poses to get to. And I even broke it down to what poses we're going to do and why. So I know a lot of times I'm always uh, going through the benefits and sometimes I don't know if you guys can write it down. So what I did was I wrote on a board, my teacher brain's coming out and you guys could screenshot it and I'll also try to put it under um, the description. So at least you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, right? And this is all again, targeting all the areas for our shoulders, our back, um, fixing our posture. This is all stuff that we um, take for granted. We don't try to address throughout the day sitting at a chair, which is not healthy for us. So let me just show you the board and don't worry, um, I'm gonna put it on the description at the end as well. And I really, really would love to know what you guys think. So please like, comment, uh, subscri subscribe, and just give me your feedback. All right, so here it is. Ooh, I know it's a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to, let me put, there you go. So now hopefully you guys can take a picture or screenshot it. We're gonna do 18 poses today. And each pose has a benefit for you that's going to help um, office workers. So the first one, the supine bound ankle is gonna open up our hips. Uh, even the pigeon is going to stretch our hips and our thighs. Bridge pose, back stretch. Upward plank, opening our chest. Seated staff pose, opening our shoulders. Seated forward bend, which we do a lot. Um, it's lengthening our spine. Seated twist is massaging our spine. The garland pose is opening our hips. It's another hip opener. Standing yoga seal, shoulder stretch. Downward dog, opening up our hip and lengthening our spine. Low lunge is a quad stretch. Cat cow, both um, are stretching out our backs um, and one uh, massaging the muscles around our spine. Cobra is massaging and engaging the lower back muscles. Uh, locust is strengthening our core. Cobra doesn't massage, um, it just engages actually our lower back. You'll feel it in your lower back, trust me. Locust is gonna be strengthening our core which is important because a lot of people that have back problems, um, it also is affecting our core. And the core affects the back problems. So, you know, it it, it, it counteracts and it, it could help when we do our core to help alleviate that pain. Um, the bow pose is another back bend, engaging and energizing our back. The thread needle is gonna twist and massage our spine. You'll see when we get there. And of course, the last one got a little wrecked at the bottom, but child pose. Um, it's resting into our muscles. So there's the breakdown. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And it's all good stuff, all good stuff. All right, so without any further ado, let's get right into it. First one, supine, oh, sorry. So I'm gonna go do it all with you today, but I would recommend again, like I said um, in the prior video, to do this after work. If you want, you could even take a couple of these that you could do during your lunch break, and you will see a difference even after a week, okay? And let me know what you, let me know if you do it and let me know if, if it works. All right, now let's begin. First one, supine bound angle. So feet are together, hips are open, come back, everything we're holding for two to three breaths. So coming down, opening up our hips. From there, we're gonna bring our feet up, shoulder width apart, and we're gonna put our right leg over, grabbing our left thigh for recline pigeon. And this is stretching our hips and our thighs. Coming down, bring our left leg over, holding our right leg, bringing it to our chest. Get a nice little thigh stretch. Now we're gonna go into our bridge pose for a nice back stretch. Two variations. One is lifting up, intertwining our fingers, bringing our shoulders up, hips up to the sky, or hands next to our shoulders, lifting up. Holding for two to three breaths. Coming down, going into upward plank. Upward plank is our hands are forward, feet are pointed and bringing up, up our hips and you want to drop your head back drop your head back hold for two three 
Okay. Coming down, you're going to, now for a seated staff pose, you're gonna have your hands on the side, shoulders going in and out. Two more times, going in. So your shoulder blades to go in and then come out. Last one, in and out. Next, seated forward bend, lengthening our spine. You should be used to this by now. Breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, bring our nose to our knees, grabbing our toes to the side of our feet. Whatever is more comfortable for you, dropping your head. Remember two to three breaths for each pose. Next, massaging our spine for a spinal twist, left leg over, left arm over, right arm behind our spine, twisting, trying to lengthen our spine with each breath and every exhalation. Come to the other side, left leg down, right leg over, right arm over, twist, looking over our arms, our hands should be behind our back, looking over our left shoulder. You can also push into the knee to get a nice twist. Coming into garland pose. So here, I like to kind of waddle my way like this. So kind of, cause sometimes you go like this, you can't get your uh, back of your feet down. If you can't do it, that's okay. The whole objective is to open the hips. So when you're there, open and hold for two to three. Coming up to standing yoga seal. Here you're going to bring your feet hip width apart and you're gonna grab your hands, lean down, arms up. Nice shoulder stretch, it's a nice shoulder stretch. Coming up and now we're gonna go into our downward dog. Open the hips, lengthen the spine. Hands down, lean back, downward dog, nice. If you can't get the, the, the balls of your feet down, just do as best as you can. From here, we're gonna do a low lunge. So right leg forward, comes down. Here, you could stay here, you could come up. Switching right leg back, left leg forward, low lunge. Excellent. Next, nice little back bend and massage around our spine. Cat cow, breathe in, curve your back, breathe out, arch your back. Again, breathe in, curve. Breathe out, arch. Let's just do one more. So breathe in. And breathe out. Coming down into cobra. So your feet are down, hands are by the side of your chest, and you're engaging your lower back muscles. So breathe in, scoop, and come up. Elbows tucked in, hold for two to three. Excellent job. Coming back down, going into locust, another back bend. So feet are up, arms are back. Holding for two to three, you should feel this in your lower back. Hold it, it's helping out your core as well. So breathe in. Come down, uh, last back stretch. You're going to bring your feet up, grab your ankles on the outside, breathe in, coming into bow pose. Excellent, you can try to uh, touch your toes if you can, if not, that's fine as well, hold for two to three. This is again, an excellent back stretch. It's engaging our core, it's energizing our spine. We have to counteract the posture that we've been doing every day at our, our seats.
coming down to thread pose. So with thread pose, you're gonna go on your knees, you have your right arm down, left arm scoop through, putting your shoulder on the ground. You get a nice shoulder stretch here. Hold it for two to three. If you want, you can push off with your right hand on the floor to get a nicer stretch. And now, same thing on the other side. Left hand down, right arm through. Like I said, you can push off with your left. You can feel it in your shoulder. It's a nice shoulder stretch. And the last thing we're going to do is resting in child's pose. Come back, head down, and just hold for two to three. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And again, I would recommend doing this at least two to three times. Do it after work. Take a few from the list that I showed you before and you could uh, practice during your lunch break. Let me know what you think. Oh, let's just do breath in for four, hold for six, out for eight. Together. One more. And out. Thank you guys, have a great day. Hope everything worked out.